Austin Smith. The myth. The myth, Austin Smith. And um, the best dad. One awesome dad. The best one dad. One awesome dad. I try. The best dad. The best try. awesome dad. Anyways, one awesome dad, and he has made a name for himself doing top dressing and getting all you real mowing guys set up and ready to rock and roll. We're out here at one of our MySod installs. We did some Xeon Zoysia. We're down to about one and three quarter inch right here. So Austin's come out to talk to me about what we need to do to get this ready for a real mower. So it's a beautiful location yeah. to do all this. Let's, let's zoom around and get the, get the get, whole- Get it all let's, in there. Let's, uh, let's, make a, let's make a little video about awesome grass. Yeah. So what do you think we should do to get this down to a real mow height so, and top dress, all that kind of good stuff? Yeah, so just like we were talking about, I'm a huge fan right now of the 51031 Let's Go Fertilizer because we want to get those roots and we want to get that potash in there for root development because this one is new, right? So that it's ready and we get those roots ready to go through the strain of what we're going to get ready to put it through to real mow. And then we want to come through here and the, the first time we do this one it's highly you know we do a quick sand level and we do probably about uh well a yard and a half a yard and a half or a thousand we'll put it down we'll run the level rakes through it kind of smooth it all out get it ready for uh real mowing i'm so, also a big proponent of amending the soil too amending the, you know some kind of organic matter in the soil system to that kind of look, kind of little nice, reaction. A nice compost mix, a nice, beautiful manure. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm a huge fan of dairy manure. This time of year, if you're scared of dairy manure, we do a chicken manure base. It does have an NPK value to it, we're gonna, so it can get pretty hot. While we talk, we're going to walk and yeah. we're going to get out of this wind a little bit. So we're going to walk over here. So there's a little wind break over here. A little wind break over yeah. here. But, so, yeah. So, so um, what do we need to do to prepare this lawn? We're at an inch and three quarter. What do we need to do to get ready for a top dressing leveling kind of I thing? I would get it down to, I'm a huge fan of getting it down to the height that you want to be at when you so start we're gonna, to real mow. Gonna so the guys are going to real mow it at like three quarter inch maybe? So, yeah, I would start at an inch and get it to that height, scalp it, get all the thatch. Well, it's new, so you don't really have a thatch layer to worry about. Um, but if you did? If you did, then you go in, you'd go, if you were in Zoysia, this is a Zoysia lawn, which is completely different than Bermuda. With Zoysia, we have to really, really worry about that thatch layer because it does tend to go really, really thick. Mm -hmm. So you run a dethatcher through it, if you are, kind of scarify, dethatch, whatever you want to do, clean all that up amend the soil, fertilize, and then come through with the sand. Awesome. Now what about aeration? Poking some holes in that sucker? Is yeah. that something that uh, you guys are... So I personally, I'm not a huge fan. I know the book calls for it, and you should do it if you can. I personally am not a huge fan of aerating when you're trying to level, when you're trying to top dress or amend the soil again. So to truly grow southern lawns, right? Yeah. Everybody knows this. You have to have a healthy mix of clay, sand, loam and organic matter well in texas we're full of clay some loam very little sand very little organic matter right so if you're top dressing which ideally if we had our way we'd have everybody top dress in the spring early spring yeah. which is a straight organic matter and a little bit of sand with some mycorrhizas and biochar amending that soil amending that and then coming through and doing a full level okay. afterwards. That's ideally the right way to do it. So when we top dress at first, you want to aerate and put shit, all that organic matter into the root system when you're, when we're going for a true level, I'm not a personally, I'm not a huge fan of aerating. And here's why, what happens is you lose a lot of sand to those holes, but you also create a new crater. So you go in, either you core aerate or spike aerate. If you spike aerate, maybe that's okay. But if you core aerate it, you're taking out that core and you're filling in with sand. No matter how much sand you put in, it settles over yeah. time. It's just like going to the beach, you take a mason jar, and I just did, you take a mason jar and you fill it up, but then you start to shake it and shake it and, shake, yeah. and after a while it settles. So, that's so, the, the so the ball roll is gonna... It's, yeah, it's, it's gonna, if we're going it's gonna for that, that perfect that, ball so roll. We want. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're truly going for a true level, we want to just not aerate. You want to go through and level. So if you could do it, I would top dress in the spring and then level okay. after that. 
two to three weeks after that. All right, and now it's it's 100 degrees. Ooh, it's hot. It's, I we, like it. We got hot. tons of we got a perfect irrigation system, right? Okay. So we can put as much water as we want. We're this is a uh, perfect scenario. We don't have any water restrictions today in Flower Mound. Yes, go. All right, so I'm gonna scalp this down little at a time I'm not gonna go from four inches down to a, uh, one inch but we're going to get it down to a manageable height and there's no real sense in doing a, uh, a sanding top dressing in order to achieve a lawn level when you're at two and a half inches because all that sand is just gonna hide and the purpose of lawn leveling is when you're gonna you're gonna use that leveling rake at, after you, you spread your sand and you're gonna push it off of the high spots and it's gonna fall into the low spots but when your grass is too high you're just you're just pushing over grass and you're really not seeing that the effect of that level especially with zoysia lawns right because zoysia just tends to go really really thick so you want to yeah everybody tries to scalp out once and if there was one thing that i could just beg you guys out there to not go in and go from four inches down to one inch do not do that you can't i mean you don't have enough blade speed unless you're using you don't have enough blade speed on your mower unless you're using a corvette engine on a mower you're not going to get enough space to get all that back in. The ideal way to go is to go about a half an inch at a time. So four to three and a half to two and a half. I'm sorry, to three to two. two he doesn't half. do math, but we're yeah, okay I'm with that. Yeah, I'm not a math major. <laughs> I, I, I do long. This is what I do. But, <laughs> but, the, but our real mowing guys, they're wanting that cut short anyway. Yeah. So they probably don't have to go that far to get down to their ideal cut. And um, so... I'm gonna have you come out, but it's summertime. Yeah. We're not gonna just stay home because it's summer, you know, so. It's summertime I'm and I'm back again. I'm gonna scalp it down. I'm gonna water the junk out of it. You're gonna come out and sand it. Yes. And then after that, I'm gonna water it in, of course. Yes. So yes. ideally you wanna hose water in if you can, and I know it's hard and that's a ton of work because it actually take, it takes a while. Ideally after we sand level, and we rake everything in, we sand level everything. You want to go through with a hose on like a shower setting and just drench it. Drench it and get that sand to settle. That said, I know a lot of people don't have time to do that. So run the sprinklers. Run the sprinklers as soon as we're done. Yeah. And especially right now as we go into the fall, it starts to pick the wind, start to pick up here in Texas. We don't want that sand moving. You don't want it you want to wet it so it stays heavy and it settles in it water everything every every day for about two to three weeks yeah. also if you want to have more height of about one inch you're going to stop all the way down to about three quarters of an inch so allow some growth to come okay to come through okay. right and let everything settle because remember we're going to be adding about a quarter of an inch to so about a half an inch of material oh i forgot about that there you yeah. go yeah so to, to get it down through and then fertilize afterwards we say before okay right that said, when we do it, we come out and we use slow release fertilizer. So we're going to use a chicken, a chicken manure, which has an MPK value to it. It has about eight percent nitrogen, uh, some phosphorus, and some potash. Uh, we'll do micronutrients. We do mycorrhizas, which has an MPK value to it as well. We do biochar. Biochar does not have Isn't an this MPK awesome? value. Don't you like the details? Yeah, I did. You just got to get into the minutia, but. We want you to win, so we do all that stuff to amend the soil and amend the grass so that the grass does push through. We're gonna get your grass growing on steroids. Well, everything that we do is 100% slow release, 99.99999% organic because we can't say that anything's truly 100% organic, but it's 99% organic. Uh, we'll spray molasses, we'll spray uh, some boron, some manganese. Um, I got a stupid question. Yeah. And this is a real question because I've never thought about this before. Does molasses attract ants? You know. Does molasses attract ants? Because it's that sweet. Was, because it's sweet. <laughs> because it's sweet. It's sweet like Austin. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. So, but shout out to Tim Moses. One of our clients brought it out to our attention the other day. And again, as we start to level up, we're going to start to do a, a bifenthrin treatment in there as well. Okay. So I'm not a huge proponent of pesticides, but bifenthrin is non-toxic, so that's okay. That's okay, but no, we're, we're an organic shop. We want you to use as much natural awesome. as possible. Awesome. Okay. Tell, tell me the difference of, I know, so in case you guys didn't get it from the beginning of the thing, Awesome Smith and One Awesome Dad, these guys are awesome in top dressing, sand leveling, feeding lawn, your lawn. Lawn aeration. And they do some sod installs, but we're not mad at them. Nope. 
we're the second best. Yeah. Second best. Shout out. Be we're best at Bermuda, best at uh, St. Augustine. Oh, but there's nobody better at St. Augustine, but then these guys are pretty good at Zoysia. So we like, the, we, we like the Zoysia. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning from the best. All right, so we got. I got one more question. Okay, let's go. Okay, the benefits of sand leveling. We just talked about that for sand leveling guys that are real known. What about these top dressing with other materials other than masonry sand? What are you guys are you putting out there? Like some compost? Some, what are you are you feeding lawns? What's yeah, the, so we're, I mean, if, especially, oh, so right, we're in Texas, and in Texas, we Oop, just, let's come close to this windbreak. So it's getting sorry. me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Texas, we just have bad soil. So it's very, very important that we, uh, that's not true. <laughs> that metro area, so Colleyville has some of the best soil I've ever seen in 20 years of doing this, but Hazlitt has some of the worst. But, you know, as a, as a result, we, I'm not a big, Component, proponent of just using a straight compost because that tends to have a lot of leaf litter and if you have a lot of trees on your lot you're going to get leaf litter anyway um, dairy manure we use a dairy manure we use mycorrhizas we use biochar we use chicken manure and all that that tends to amend the soil it also adds nematodes and microorganisms and mycorrhizas and protozoans and all those fine organic material that earth science yeah that that get into the soil and actually break up the soil so the microorganisms that actually feed on each other and there's this whole fruit pyramid thing that kind of uh -huh. happens in the soil on a micro level where you can't really see it but that helps those organ and that kind of softens up that clay a little bit and starts to break up that clay which and then the sand, a little bit of sand, even when we top dress, we still add a little bit of sand because again, you need a healthy mix of sand, clay, loam, and organic matter. Well, all that together means you're going to have an awesome lawn. That's so a, we're excited yeah. about grass. We're kind of grass geeks. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't think people get more excited about a green lawn than, than the, these two guys right here. Absolutely. So. I like Bermuda though. You like Bermuda? I, am, I, I, I like I Bermuda. Guess. I mean, yeah. I guess if you're like, you know, if having a soccer game and you got to tear it up, you're gonna tell you disrespect your lawn, you can go to Bermuda. <laughs> that said, they, uh, nothing nothing to be said about a zoysia lawn, especially like a, uh, what do you, an emerald of a zero, you know, a dwarf variety, something yeah. that you don't have to mow that much, a low maintenance lawn, turf. We're in, like, we're in like zoysia central here. Yeah. So we got some, we got some zoysia here, some zoysia there. Zoysia across the street, it's kind of scarred up over there. Some mistakes happened, but that's not my lawn. But that could easily oh, be help remedied. Yeah. Yes, they need our attention. Yeah. Maybe we'll go, we knock, go on knock on their on door. door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great I'm not, mind. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not below knocking on a door. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> let's go. I'm like, hey, we just want to help. Let's, let's help. Let's help you get that lawn. All right, let's speaking go. of getting a hold of a new client, so how can, how can our viewers get a hold of you? What are, we, what are they going to do? Uh, Oneawesomedad.com, yeah. 405 Lawn Dad, that's 405-529-6323. Or you can find us on Facebook at One Awesome Dad or at Austin Smith, One Awesome Dad. And just reach out. Um, we'd be more than happy to help. Yeah. Or they can just call you and yeah. then you link them over. Yeah, we can install a new lawn for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Zoysiasod.com. Yeah, let's go. All right, well, it's good talking to hey, you. Hey, you too, man. Let's Thanks go. for having us out. Let's, let's go. do some more cool stuff yeah. together. All right.